Hello! Hi! If you enjoy anything in this video, you should consider the following. Subscribe to me here on YouTube, follow me on Twitch, and on TikTok, where I make other forms of content and where I post my other content. Alright, cool. Enjoy the video. Speaking of a lot of stuff, uh, I was the unfortunate, um, I guess, victim of seeing a really, really unnecessary, unnecessarily long thread about um 16 and tldr um you know it's, it's some other clown being mad that it doesn't fit their um specific like demands or whatever and writing it off as like a uh like oh this is like a teenager definition of mature or something and then they tried to show their like shitty little book after like 10 parts in the damn thread? Watch out! Anyway, as I was saying... Yeah, they showed their, like, stupid little book about it and whatever. Well, not about 16, but about Final Fantasy in general, I suppose. And, um... Then I saw... Um, another thing, you know, this time by your typical wannabe game journalist talking about Final Fantasy 16 but literally saying in it that like they've only played the first four hours and then having the nerve to write like a detailed review about it and this is why so many people just don't like um, game journalists and reviewers because, you know, on top of the fact that they don't actually play the things that they're reviewing, they don't talk about it in a, um, what's what I'm looking for? In a non-disingenuous manner, because all they know is disingenuity. Because, you know, yada yada yada, get your hate clicks, get your whatever. And they sit up here and they're like, why does no one take us seriously? We're good reviewers and, and most of the time they're not because they are provably unable to remove their own internal backwards biases in the shit. And they can never talk about the thing at surface value and take it for what it is. They all have to make comparisons to things that have nothing to do with it. And a lot of the time, the fucking inane xenophobia rings through because they're like, Oh, well, you know, these Japanese games by these Japanese people, and they can't do this, and they can't do that, and they can't take anything seriously, and all that dumb shit. And publications like Kotaku and other adjacents wonder why they get blacklisted companies because they do shit like that like, I find it so endlessly entertaining that since the game has come out which by the way uh, within a week of launch has sold um, I believe the last number I saw was 3.1 million copies at the time of me talking about this so that's pretty cool since the game's released so many people have been trying to bring it down and talk down about it and not talk about it for what it fucking is once we step onto that bridge we'll be easy targets but that's more exp for me though then we better move quickly anyway we have gone through the it's not a real final fantasy people to it's just a button masher, but that is said from the people who have on the auto combo ring. To publications saying that it's not mature enough and it's not what they expect a Final Fantasy to be. There's gratuitous this, there's gratuitous that, and not paying attention to the things in their context, taking things out of context. To 
the expected game bad because there's no diversity, even though if you actually play the shit, you would understand why from a narrative and a business standpoint, why that would have been absolutely horrible. Especially with some of the imagery and the subject material that actually takes place in the game and stuff. To... I've seen people go on about, oh, well, it's super, super easy. Again, coming from the people who have the auto stuff on, specifically the auto combo ring. To seeing people go on about, oh, you can just beat the whole thing with square. And, uh, you know, people being too pussy to put their money where their mouth is. Because... Lately, for every, I'd say, three people going on about, oh, it's just a button mash you can win just by holding square, there's like six people saying to, uh, do it, play the whole game by only pressing square, but don't have on the auto combo ring that does all your magic stuff and your icon stuff for you. Do it without all that. And so far, no one's done it yet. Seeing all these people try to do all these things to discredit this genuinely good game is, um, it's to be expected because, you know, first of all, let's be honest, the last mainline entry, Final Fantasy 15, not 7 Remake, wasn't the greatest. It was okay, but it wasn't the greatest in many, many different aspects. And then we got 7 Remake, which, by the way, people were going on about the original 7 being, oh, well, this isn't Final Fantasy, and those same people, once again, being like, this isn't Final Fantasy, talking about 7 Remake. And, when, you know, as always, they are proven laughably wrong. And... With how willing people are to be a mixture of xenophobic and racist when it comes to games that we get from the East, your typical turn-based or your JRPG or your super, super fantasy-like story, people will throw anything and everything that they can out of their mouths to make it look bad, even though they are showing to the world that either they are bad at the game they literally have not played the game, or they're just trying to be as disingenuous as possible to get people to not enjoy it. Because since the release of the demo, and I want to stress the demo, people were buying PlayStation 5s just for the game itself. And I've seen plenty of people talk about, oh, I guess I'm going to go get a PlayStation 5 now because this demo looks to be absolutely fantastic. Oh, the demo looks cool. I want to play that. Oh, hey, PlayStation 5s are being sold like crazy because of a demo. And people are buying the game because of a demo. There are people who have never played a Final Fantasy game before, who have like, who have played Final Fantasies before, but they're like a supreme Final Fantasy hater for whatever reason, and they're up here like, oh damn, wait, this is, this is a good fucking game, this is a good demo, I'm gonna play this, and shit. So to see these disingenuous asshats just be the absolute worst kinds of people to make something that they don't like just for the sake of not liking something is funny seeing them be proved wrong over and over and over like even even the people going on about oh it's just a devil may cry it's not it has a lot of similarities because you know the get the guy who helped with the combat with that helped with this so that's not entirely too to just say oh it's just a devil may cry with final fantasy attached to it 
and I've seen people be like, well, it's not better than this, and it's not better than that, and for some people who are just letting their bias talk, yeah, sure, whatever, you can have your biases, I'm not gonna get mad at you for your biases, but don't sit up here and be like, oh, it's bad because of this and that, when you weren't even gonna play it in the first place. It's like the same people who were saying Persona 5 was bad and had all these glaring issues because they saw some YouTuber say that it was bad and it had all these glaring issues and they didn't play the damn thing itself. It's like the same way how people were saying that 7 Remake was a bad game and they didn't play the fucking game and that it was so damn hard because they weren't actually trying to play the game and shit. It's, it's like how most, most popular releases from overseas companies that aren't indie titles that are that that fall under the term of Japanese role-playing game more often than not they just hate on it because it's not what they're used to and it's from Japan and for a lot of people still to this day those that play games and engage with Eastern culture and watch anime and all that for the people that don't do that they are still like yeah any anything anything from Japan is weird and cringe and what have you but these are the same people who only play like Skyrim or Skyrim Adjacent, 2K, Madden, your Red Dead, your GTAs. Those are the same people who play stuff like that. Games that, in my opinion, and I want to stress opinion, have no substance. I have played those games, yes, but they are not my kind of games. But if you pit, if you disingenuously pit it against something that has like eons upon eons of substance, and then sit up and say, "Well, it's bad because I don't like this, and I don't like that." That's wrong. The people that do all that, they get mad when their things get unfairly criticized, and they feel it necessary to unfairly criticize things that they either genuinely don't understand or they don't like. Case in point, right? Tetsuya Nomura, the guy who directs Kingdom Hearts and all that stuff, right? He is being blamed for things that other people are literally not paying attention to in the story of 16 and just writing it off as that Kingdom Hearts convoluted mess and what have you, when he didn't even work on the damn game. Nomura has nothing to do with any process involved in 16. But because people need something to hate, because they are not paying attention to the things that are happening, not reading what is happening, not absorbing the context of what's happening, for whatever unholy reason, people are going on about Oh, this is that Kingdom Hearts wackiness again. This is, uh, it's Nomura doing Nomura things again. He hasn't worked on the game. And Final Fantasy has been wacky, convoluted nonsense since the first game. Because the first game, as bare bones as the first game story was in terms of dialogue, it was about time travel in the psychic loop of time everything started because a guy keeps getting himself sent backwards in time so to sit here and be like oh this is that kingdom Hearts stuff again that's wrong you're wrong as hell and you're just using something that you don't understand because you choose not to pay attention to the fucking story as a slight against something that is blatantly in your face of what's going on like for christ's sake Every single thing that you can read gives you the context for what's going on. If you hold the damn touchpad down, it gives you context to what is currently happening, where you are in the story, where you are in the area that you're in, and even updates in real time. And that is the fault of other people choosing not to pay attention to what's going on and then complain about what's happening. Those are the same kinds of people that skip cutscenes in games and then complain about oh i don't understand what's going on in the story because you skip the cutscenes and these are the same people that are going on about oh it, it's that kingdom Hearts stuff again going on and on and on and on their opinions ultimately at the end of the day do not matter because they are 
comparing something to another thing that they dislike for illegitimate reason and use net to critique something that they purposefully did not pay attention to. Because I don't understand, and this is just me personally, I personally genuinely do not understand how people get so lost, or no, people have gotten so lost and confused at what's going on in Final Fantasy 16 when everything is right there in your face and it is explained in so much detail. Now give me a second while I fight these guys and I'll continue talking about what I was talking about. Anywho, I don't want to get too distracted from what's, what I think is the final, final, final chunk of the game. So I'm just going to finish my point off with saying disingenuous weirdos and freaks are being disingenuous weirdos and freaks all over again and are trying to shit on an objectively good product for a lot of people. Wake up! and using their hatred, their misplaced hatred, against other good things as an argument, a poor argument, against one thing. That is all. This isn't Stonehenge.